Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Problem skin, breakouts, redness, is that a problem which you've experienced? Most of us have, whether you're a man or a woman, to be honest with you. Now my clip all about today is really how do you manage that with hairstyle? Okay, so for example, for me, I always have an undercut. Many men now, around my age, younger, or even a bit older, or even older still, have undercuts. So really short at the sides, really, really long on top. But of course, that's great. But what happens at any age if you get an, uh, a breakout, or if you get problematic skin, or if you get redness? Which can happen for so many different reasons. It can happen, for example, changing products. That can happen through using a moisturizer which doesn't necessarily agree with you. If you're having stress, it can... It can certainly happen, or it can also be a long-term issue. Some people, unfortunately, do suffer with breakouts on and off throughout their life, and it can hit you in whatever age. Um, I am very fortunate, and so is my twin brother. We both grew up together, and neither one of us ever had problems with breakouts. But my problem, which he doesn't get, which is really, really annoying, I can just use any type of moisturiser, and I moisturise morning and night, being brought up in... Uh, it's it's what's kind of embedded into you, isn't it, of what to do in your sort of routine throughout life. And for me, it's that you some moisturise morning and night for keeping good skin, looking healthy and keeping that skin youthful, healthy, vibrant throughout life. But for me, if I am using a product which possibly could be expensive, could be a little bit cheaper, no matter what ingredients in there, if it does not agree with my skin, it will cause me to have problematic skin and a bit of a breakout and it is so annoying even shaving for example very often um, i mean i shave every single day and that can give me so many problems just through sometimes the choice of aftershave balm which i use if it's a cream or something of that nature or something which is to smooth and calm the skin very often that's amazing for the after effects of shaving then a couple of hours later i can feel i've got something sort of coming up through possibly a breakout again I don't never say this on some um, clips of my channel, but very often if I'm using a different moisturiser or if I've picked up a different moisturiser, again, cost has nothing to do with it and nor does necessarily the ingredients. If my skin doesn't like it, does this sound like you? If my skin doesn't like it, it causes me to have some sort of upset in my skin, some sort of redness or breakout. And this is usually around my hairline. It could possibly be on the, my nose, the bridge of my nose or around sort of my jawline here. It's really horrible, it's really unsightly, and it can make you feel pretty naff and pretty horrible going about your day first thing in the morning when you're getting ready. Now, like anything, um, like any other day, I'm up very early and I'm ready to go. Now, whether this be work or wherever you're going out, you can guarantee if it's something special or something to remember, something will probably happen to our skin. Not always, but sometimes. And you can guarantee sometimes that does happen to me. Well, all <laughs> today's clip, what I'm really trying to get at is... This style which I'm wearing today can certainly work with you if you are having a problem. So I'm 26 and I still get problems with my skin. And I have to admit, I've been very, very fortunate. I never had it as a teenager all the way through, not even in my early 20s. But every now and again, what I do get, if I can use possibly too much moisturiser or a moisturiser which doesn't necessarily like my skin or my skin doesn't like it rather i have this bit of a breakout this bit of an upset in my skin and in fact actually redness sometimes i can really suffer with redness in my skin which can affect any one of us now a little quick story about that i remember one day i used a um like a facial mask scrub i think uh, for my skin and i made the mistake of using it to shave with now that was fine but it made my skin all over my face because i left it on far too long bright red and blotchy I went downstairs my mum pointed out what's wrong with your skin had a bit of a chat with her about it it was fine I said it's not a problem not worried about it it will pass well I then after after some time went to work had a few looks I remember um, nobody said anything to me at all um, and I remember using the bathroom and I remember washing my hands looking in the sink um, mirror by the sink and I remember seeing my face absolutely horrendous bright red and blotchy i had to make up excuses all throughout the day it was horrendous by the end of the day it got a little bit better but it certainly looked awful so what do we do in terms of we wake up in the morning and so you're a young man like me and you're getting yourself ready you want to look youthful you want to look stylish but you've got that undercut so your hair usually is swept all the way back into this nice modern style you don't want to be doing that if you've got problems on your forehead, if you've got a bit of a breakout going on. This could be around sort of your mouth. This could be around your jawline, underneath your neck, anywhere. Let's be honest, it can happen anywhere on our face. What 
do we do? So here's my tips. Go for a style what disguises parts of your forehead and can break up that look. But after with an undercut, it's a great style. It's one of my favorites, but it puts so much of your face on show. So it's really important to keep on top of good skin. But sometimes you can be paying out the best moisturizers, the best cleansers, everything amazing. And it can just be the simple fact that with nature, your skin doesn't like it, throws a bit of a tantrum. You're left for a couple of days with a bit of an unsightly marks, blemishes, what have you, redness on your face. Now, of course, it's not the worst thing in the world at all. There are so many awful things going on in this world and more so than ever now, but it makes things tough, doesn't it? Let's be fair. It really does make things tough. So here's my tip. So you can probably guess, yes, I've got a little bit of unsightly things going on on my skin at the moment, which I would like to be banished and gone, particularly around my hairline and under here. I'm not going to show you because I don't have to, <laughs> but, and again, just on the bridge of my nose as well, I'm not really particularly liking that. And I'm having some problem with some shaving rash and things at the moment. So here's first thing starts basically. So start off with shampooed and conditioned hair. Forget the brush, forget the comb. Use your normal or your favorite volumizing shampoo and conditioner, all stimulating for that hair growth. Of course, it's always good to keep on top of good hair growth, particularly if you're a young man. Okay, so starting off with that, grab a blow dryer, but if you've got particularly straight hair, you don't necessarily need to do that. Go about your morning, let your hair dry off naturally, give it a break. If not, pick up your blow dryer with your fingers, run your fingers through your hair, the other hand with a blow dryer, literally rough dry your hair all the way through with your fingers. Then what you need to do once that's finished is part your hair off to one side with your fingers, don't forget. And what you would then benefit from doing is bringing some hair down across the front here. So almost what you're starting to do is about an inch, maybe two inches back. You're taking this front section of your hair and you're pulling it forward. Leave it there for a moment. Do the same here, but not so much down the side. So you've parted your hair off into like a deep part and off to the side here. And you're bringing that hair over. What can really help if you've got a bit of a wavy or a curly texture or if you've got fine textured hair and it kinks quite a lot. Get a straightener and just for the front of your hair, pass a straightener through the front of your hair here and on this side as well. It really, really helps. For the back, what you need to do, take a bit of a palm, a bit of like a pomade product or a putty or a lifting paste, something which knows, which you know works for you, doesn't give you any problems with your skin. You know what I mean? If it's hot, if it's warm, do you get any residue run down your scalp? This isn't about hair product, it's about you feeling confident in your skin and making that style work and disguise and mask it so it gives you more confidence. So pick a product which is going to work for you, your skin. Don't necessarily think of your hair on this one. But what you do want to do, possibly even just a little bit of hairspray or free spray, literally with your fingers, literally ruffle your hair through so you've got a bit of a nice, like almost textured sort of bits of hair sort of lifting up so it's a nice modern texture. If not, do it yourself if you've got quite fine flat hair and it sits flat. Lift sections up and spray it, literally. Lift, sort of pinch it through, twist it, that type of notion which you can see me doing here on the back. Now on this front piece here, leave it quite straight, spray some hairspray or take a small amount of putty for your hands or what product you've chose to use. And literally, with your fingers, don't use a brush or a comb, pull it through. OK, pull it through. And then with that, what you want to do, so I've just accidentally knocked my hearing aid over the side. <laughs> and then on this side, what you want to do, take some product through your hand and then literally lift it through here. But what you want to do is here you want to create a bit more of a feature. So pull a bit of hair through here or separate the hair, what you've got here into several pieces. Lift, spray with some hairspray. That's a good tip. Lift this up again, spray with some hairspray. But then the sort of the tail bit of the hair, literally pull down over your forehead and off to the side, make it quite wispy, make it quite undone. That's the key here as well. Spray it all over, but keep things loose. You don't want to be using too much product, of course, because you're trying to keep that product, that residue off your forehead to help when you've got those days of a little bit of problematic skin or redness or whatever's going on. What you're doing here, OK, great, modern, trendy style. And if you can replicate what I'm wearing now, it looks cool, feels youthful, really, really good. What you're doing is if by lifting these pieces up in the front, spraying it, creating a nice smooth sleekness to a piece here and then underneath and having it off to the side here, covering a bit more of the, the forehead. And then again here, you are creating pieces of your hair, creating a feature. Those features people will see in your style rather than your complexion. When you look in the mirror, I mark my words, kid, kid you not, when you look in the mirror, you will see your hair, your style, those textured pieces, that product you've used because you'll see it more because you use less of it. Sounds strange, but it means a lot. 
And then when you look in the mirror, rather than seeing your complexion, worrying about your complexion, that redness, that problematic skin, you'll see your style, you'll see your youthfulness, and it just shines. It makes you feel so much more confident. Try it, especially if, if you have a look under here, which I'm not going to show you, but but if you lift up under here and you've got sort of problematic skin on, on the sort of temple, possibly a bit of a breakout, on your opposite side a bit of a breakout, this is a great style for incorporating coverage, that sort of masking that element here, which is really, really great. You could even go a bit more in sort of pulling over a little bit more if you wanted to. But because I can, and my hair's long enough, which is another key, usually if you've got an undercut, the top of your hair length is going to be longer. It works better. But if you've got shorter hair, it's great as well. Because what you want to do, half your head, literally move that back with your hand, flick it all through, the front of your hair, flick it forward. Separate it off slightly off to the side and bring the front here, flatten a bit of a fringe across the front. It gives you style. It gives you youthfulness and it gives you a different take on your face and your appearance which is going to take the look away from what's going on with your face probably your problem area might be your scalp might be sort of the bridge of your nose but because you've got this nice sort of style piece going on it's going to look amazing and it's going to make you feel so so much better okay i hope that clip really really helped okay and i certainly enjoyed making it as you can probably see i'm having one or two of those issues we don't have to show it you don't even have to talk about it you can do those things in the morning. It's going to make you feel a whole lot better. Another thing, if something else is going on, sometimes just a change of hairstyle can really, really help things. It's a small thing, isn't it? But do you know what? In today's life, when so much is going on and we can get stressed out and busy with one thing or another, breakouts, problematic skin can happen so, so easily. It doesn't have to mean anything. Okay. Thank you very, very much for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.